Hello. Hello, Corey. Yes. Hey, Corey. It's Sleeve with the city of. Yes. Hey, I'm just supposed to call and let you know there was a kind of a complaint from one of your neighbors recently, just regarding some noise levels at your house. I'm just uh. We're you know, not loud. One of your neighbors, I guess. Like, I'm, I'm not really supposed to reveal their who it is or anything for confidentiality reasons, but I guess they they work. You know, just like odd hours. And so, you know, we, we agreed to extend the noise ordinance in your neighborhood um, to 24 hours. So, so basically, you just, you just need to whisper at all times. and I need to whisper in my own house. Oh, you know, just, just keep it to a low roar. You know, just, uh, I have to whisper in my house. Yeah. My home. I have to whisper in my home. Yeah. yeah You're out of your mind. No, You're it's... absolutely out of your mind. Sir. It's whisper in a home. Yeah, it was just being respectful. Inside. It's it's just, you know, being respectful to your neighbors and you know, respecting their hours. None of my neighbors work odd hours. My uh, neighbor next to me on the south side is an engineer that works all day long. Um my oh, neighbor to the north is a pilot out at the Air Force base. Well, one of your neighbors Other does. That, and, you know, I, I can't remember Neither either one of them does. I didn't say they were I next know that door. For a fact. It, Corey. Well, we're I didn't not say they were next loud. door. It, and also, okay, and they're not that loud. And it's not just like when you're in their house. Like also, when you when you drive down your street, you need to turn your engine off and just coast, just kind of cruise into what, your. What are you talking about? The new noise ordinance that's in effect in your neighborhood. You just need to. I need to turn my engine off and coast. Yeah, you know, just uh, just kind of get up speed before you enter your street, and then just kind of put it in neutral and just let it let it go. Or really, you are out of your mind. Or what you can do is just come to a stop, you know, just like down the road and put it in neutral and then just get out and push. <laughs> Hello. Corey. What? It's Sleeve again. I think we got disconnected. Yes, we did. Okay. Well, anyways. Who yeah. do you work for? I'm, no, who do you work for? I'm with the city of... Yeah, you've pissed me off now. Who do you work for? I don't care about city of who do you work for? I work for the city of what department? The department of noise and, and compliance. No, no. Who do you work for? I just told you, dummy. I work for the noise. Who's your supervisor? My supervisor is Ira. Um, he's not in today, but. Let me help you understand something. Well, listen, like, why don't you just. No, no. You, you be quiet and you listen. Well, you need to be quiet. You That's be quiet. the issue. That's the issue. Like, see, you're raising your voice right now. Probably yes, wicked. I'm not even at home. Well, okay, that's all besides and the point. you're the problem right now. No, like, You need to be quiet and listen. Well, you why need don't you to just, be quiet and listen and let me talk. Why don't you just upgrade to a Tesla? You know, they're, they're, they don't make any noise. Sleeve McDyke. Can't help it. Sleeve McDyke. Can't help it. Can't help it. Sixty nine, sixty nine. Six nine, six nine. Yeah. Trying to get it into the neighborhood so people just practice safe sex more, that's all. Can't help it. Yeah. Can't help it. No, 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 I'm gay. No. I'm sexually attracted to your dad's car. Can't help it. Yeah. You freaking jerked off on my dad's car. Yeah. Sleeve McDyke. If you run a black light over it, you'd probably see what I'm talking about. <laughs> you dirty one. Sleeve McDyke. Don't worry about my business, okay, motherfucker? Mm. Yeah. Sleeve McDyke. Come over here. Can't help it. Thanks to Seven for the new intro song. Well, kind of new. I played it on a boner sode last week.
Anyway, hello, I am Richard. This is another Prank Call Show, episode 33. Today is October 27th, 2020. And this episode was produced by Arbitrary Alex, Ryan Jardina, People's Karma Squad, Wasted Memory, and Rince Prius. Thank you to those five people for signing their unemployment checks over directly to me. And thanks to the new people who signed up recently, Upton O. Good Pranks, Jason P., Captain Forever, and Mike M. So I've been away for a little longer than usual. Patreon people know all about that fiasco. But to quickly recap, I moved last September and then I was cut off from the internet for a month due to mysterious circumstances. I reconnected a couple weeks ago, released a couple of hour-long boner sodes so my supporters don't rip me limb from limb, and here I am about to shit out the worst episode I've done yet. Or maybe it's good, I don't know, I'm not in the right headspace. Anyway, here's a quick clip from the most recent boner sode. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. This is, can't, this, well, I, I don't... Deborah, you need to ungas yourself. I want to see the footage. Unf- this is ridiculous. You need to deflabber. Is that the right way to say it? Yeah, where would I find the footage? I can email it to you, I guess, but it's all just kind of besides the point here because, you know, you just need to get permission before you clone your neighbors. But I didn't do it. Well, okay. I don't understand why you're lying. It's getting kind of weird. I'm not lying. Why are you yelling? This is, out- this is outrageous. I just cannot believe this. I'll tell you what's outrageous. You cloning people without getting their permission. No, 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 no. I didn't do it. Look, I don't understand, like, why you're building an army of clones of Cody, of all people. Like, he's kind of weak and stupid. If you're not signed up, you're sure missing out on some wacky shenanigans. And the monthly drawing, this month's winner of an APCS mug or t-shirt is Forever Me. It sounds like I'm saying I won, but why would I do that? It would be very, very weird. Forever me, look out for my email. And speaking of the spread shirt, there's a new Sleeve McDyckel design on there. Sipping coffee out of a sleeve mug is a great way to guarantee social distancing from your disgusting co-workers. I highly recommend checking it out at shop.spreadshirt.com slash APCS. For today's show, I've got a couple of funny calls and then a bunch of stupid bullshit. Before we get to that, though, here's an assault on your ears by Henrik. Hey, this is Richard. Uh, I mean, I, who approved this? Hello. Hello, Ted. Yes. Hey, Ted, it's Carl with the HOA. It's who? Carl with the Homeowners Association. Yes. Hey, I just, uh, I was going through the filing cabinet here, and I noticed that we haven't got a copy of your key yet. A copy of my key? Yeah, well, your, your car key. You know, for the new rideshare program in the neighborhood. Well, I know nothing about it, and I have, I, I don't know anything. Yo, man, you're you're kind of out of the loop then. Yeah, just um, basically what we're doing is we're we're just kind of doing away with private ownership of cars in the neighborhood. I don't know what what, what this. You're uh, getting getting rid of private ownership of cars. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, it's it's basically like vehicle communism. It's just kind of, you know, good for the environment and, you know, fosters a sense of community. Well, how can you get, what am I supposed to do with my cars? Uh, well, you can keep, you know, you can keep yours. You're one of the residents that was selected to, to keep your car, but you just got to share it, you know, when you're not using it with the other residents because half the neighborhood is, is getting rid of their vehicles and then the other half are, you know, just kind of, just got to open up your car to the to, to the community. I, I, I mean, I, no, wh- why? Um, for the new rideshare program, you know, it's just good for the environment and and all that. Oh, kind of- I don't want. No, I need two cars. One breaks down, 
What happens then? I have, I, you know how oh, yeah, old you, I am. I'm 84 years old. Yeah, yeah. We have we have all your your information on a file here, and that doesn't make a difference. But yeah, it's um. You don't have to get rid of your car. You just have to share it. You know, with with the others that that don't have cars anymore. Well, I don't have insurance on one car because my wife can't drive it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, the HOA is going to take care of the insurance and the maintenance. All your your HOA dues are going to go towards that kind of stuff now. And see, it's a good thing because, like, if, say, you, your car does break down, then you could just take one of the others that are out there on the road. Because, you, you know, you'll have a copy of all their keys and vice versa. Sir, I, this is totally out of any co concept that my brain can understand. I've never heard of anything like this. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a new thing that we're trying here. But, yep, we just need a copy of your key. We don't have it here, and, you know, it's going into effect on Wednesday. Well, I, 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 I'm, not, I, I'm not going to give you that. Uh, well, you were, you were selected as one of the residents. That, Who selected me? Uh, the HOA. Yeah, we just kind of just divided the neighborhood into, you know, two groups. One group getting rid of their cars and one that's sharing the cars. Well, I don't want to be part of that group. Oh, well, okay. I mean... We need both cars. Yeah, well, you don't have to get rid of your car. You just have to share it with others when you're not using it. That's all. No, sir. I, I, I'm too sick sir. with what's going on right now to even think about this. To, to, uh, uh, I can't be worried about a timeshare thing. Oh, come on. You're, you're, just, you're being selfish and, and greedy. Think of the others in the name. Yes. Hey, Ted. It's Carl again. I think we got disconnected. Are you are are, are, are you part of a, a Trump organization? A Trump or what? How does that make any sense? No, I'm with the HOA. Well, because Trump makes no sense. Well, yeah, but I don't think Trump would implement vehicle communism. That seems he lot. would. He he uh, he promotes he pr pr promotes vehicle racism. Vehicle racism. <laughs> Yes. What is vehicle racism? Who, who else in my neighborhood has agreed with this on my street? Well, it's not about ag agreeing, you know, it's just kind of a mandatory thing that we're implementing. So it's mandatory. not mandatory. Yeah, it's not up to the residents. It's, you know, we decided it, the HOA. And uh, to, let me just tell you something. I'm a very wealthy person. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will be calling my lawyer. Tomorrow. Oh, your lawyer doesn't have any jurisdiction over what we uh, do in the neighborhood? Yes, yes, he does. Oh. Yes, he does have that. You don't... I, I don't uh, think you understand uh, how the law... And, you know, like, I don't think you understand how the laws work in the neighborhood and, you know, in the bylaw. There's no neighbor... There are no neighborhood laws. Yeah. W w w show me a document. It's in the HOA Charter, you big silly billy. It's in Article 14, Section 31 of the HOA Charter. Look it up. I, I, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Can we can we go back to talking? I really can't, sir. Can we go back to talking about vehicle racism? I still want to know what that means. Vehicle racism? Yeah, that's what you said. Well, I, I, well, I, I, that's, you know, Trump has said a lot of crazy things. I thought this was another one of his crazy things. Yeah, I don't think he's ever said anything about vehicle racism. I don't even know what that means. Look, anyways, look, just, just we just need a copy of your key, and you need to stop being greedy and... You know, just you, you know what? I will sue the living shit out of you. Oh, you can't sue and me. And this township, and every and, and, and this community, okay? Well, why? Believe me, I will sue you till you don't know. I'm going to sue you personally for harassing me. I'm not harassing at eight you. Eight o'clock. I'm not. Yes. Har I'm not harassing you. I, this is all recorded. We'll see what my lawyer thinks about it. Oh, I don't okay? give you permission to record. No, I don't care. You, I, I didn't. I didn't uh, give you permission to to tell me to give you uh, my key either. We don't need your permission, dummy. We're the HOA. You know, I don't. I don't HOA get, has nothing to do with anything. You don't anything. understand how the you know, like the way things work around here. You're below me. Like I tell you what to do, not vice versa. You're absolutely out of your mind. You are a trumper. If ever I heard of one, uh, of one. Why do you keep making it political? This has nothing to do with Trump. Or... Because I can tell, I can tell who's a racist 
on the phone, I can smell it. I can smell you. I have a smelling phone, okay? You have a smelling phone for racism. Yeah. Yes, I do. And you are one big racist, okay, my friend? What did I say that was racist? By calling me at night. You couldn't have called me during the day? Wait, calling you at night is racist? No, I said, why didn't you call me during the day? Yeah, but what does that have to do with racism? You're not making any sense, Ted. You, what you're telling me is racist. How is it racist? The very fact that you're telling me that there are these kinds of laws. That's not, that doesn't have anything to do with race. That is insane. You're a crazy person. You're a fucking nut, my friend. <laughs> you're a re Republican asshole. No, I'm not Republican. I voted for Gloria Lariva. Sir, <laughs> I don't even know your name. How do I know this isn't some kind of a fake call? Well, I don't even know your name. Well, I told you it's Carl. I told you. Carl what? Marx. How do you spell it? M-A-R-X. Marx? Yes. You're, you're Carl Marx? Correct. You know who Carl Marx was? Yes, I do. Do you? Tell me who, who you think Karl Marx is. I know. Do you tell me who Karl Marx was uh, in the I, history of this country? Well, he was born in Germany, not the United States. Who was part of... Who, no, he wasn't. You're exactly right. He was part of Russia. Oh, well, that's something a QAnon person would say. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, look, you'll hear from my lawyer. That's all I can tell you. Okay. okay. Anyways. All right. all right. Hey. Hey, Ted. I love what? you. Come on, we're, we're not loaning any cars here. You, you're worried about a key. I'm worried about my life. Ted, it's okay. You don't have to share your car. I was just joking with you. Don't worry about it, honey baby. Uh, I, I don't know what you're doing. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I know. I couldn't talk about anything right now, okay? I can't talk to you. I don't know what you're talking okay. about. Okay, I was okay. just joking. Did you, did you send anything in a mail about this? Oh, no, because it's just a joke. I'm just a prank caller. What? There's there's no car share program, whatever. Well, why are you doing this? Just, just you know, for the lulls. For the rules? Yeah, for the rules. It's just the rules here in the prank call call center. We just call people up. Just say wacky stuff to them. I don't even know what you're talking about. I, I'm sorry. It's okay, Ted. Yeah, I okay. love you. We love you. Okay. That's all that matters. We all love right. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye, baby. Honey, baby, sweet tits. Hello. Hi, Janice. Yes? Hey, it's Sleeve with the DMV. Yeah, just a minute. Is this Janice? Oh, Department of Vehicles. Hello. Um, hello. Is Janice there? Yeah, what do you need? Uh, well, is this Janice? You don't sound like Janice. No, I'm her husband. Okay, well, I didn't ask to speak to you. Could you put Janice on? Not until I know what it's about. Okay, well, it doesn't concern you. It concerns Janice, so quit being so bossy. Sir. This is Dan. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Hey, it's Winston with Amazon. I was supposed to deliver a package to your house this morning. Oh. Um, there was just okay. a, there was just kind of a problem I needed to let you know about. Okay. Me and and some of my coworkers, we're we're actually starting to protest, protesting Amazon and and the burning of fossil fuels and and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And so I I have your package, but yeah, I'm 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 you know I'm just right now I'm just protesting, so I'm not going to be delivering it. Well, so what do I do about my package? Um. Yeah, I've just, I've, you know, it's in the back of my van here in my garage. It's, you know, it's the only well, way to... See. What have we got coming from Amazon? Oh, is that Cheryl in the background? It's Amazon. Just tell her to shut up. The men are speaking and, you know, it just it doesn't concern her. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it, it concerns her as much as it does me. I don't know. Well, I mean, it was just your name uh, on the package. You, you, you know, huh? It's just your name on the package, so really, she just needs to just get back in the kitchen and... Well, you need to shut that crap up. What I'm cr telling you right now. I'll, I mean, what? I want my damn package. Well, you're I don't not, well, care you're... about your fossil fuel 
Well, protest. well, That's you a should. Bunch of bullshit. Well, you're a bunch of bullshit. You know, you should care about these things. They're, you know, it's poisoning the planet. Oh, well, oh bull! You're a you're a tree hugging liberal idiot. Oh, how dare you call me a liberal, you son of a bitch! Well, you need to. I don't know. I don't know what your deal is, but if I've got something I bought from Amazon, you just need to bring it to the house and deliver it. Well, since you called I'm me, done. Si- I'm not. Well, no, I'm, Dan. I'm listen, not, shh, listen. I'm gonna get you, my. You don't talk. Listen to me. I'm gonna get in my van right now. My wife about. You don't talk about my wife like that. Well, she just one iota. She runs her mouth a lot. That's all I'm saying. Look, I'm gonna get in my van right now, my delivery van, and I'm gonna drive your package down to the lake, and I'm going to dump your package in the lake. So basically, fuck you. Hello. Hi, Carol? This is Gordon. Oh, hey, Gordon. Boy, you sound exactly like Carol. Uh Uh-huh. Hey, uh, this is Winston. I'm with Amazon. I was supposed to deliver a package to you. Uh Uh-huh. And there was a little bit of a problem that I needed to let you know about. Okay. So I went to deliver the package, you know, to your to your front door there. And as I was getting out of my van, I I, I saw a ghost. And yeah, it, it spooked me real good. And I, I, I wasn't able to complete the delivery. Yeah, we don't have anything like that. Uh, oh, no, no. I definitely saw one. It, it was floating there and it was kind of looking at me and... Yeah, it, it scared me a good one, and so I, I just I got back in my van and I sped off. And what are you going to do now? Uh, well, here's the thing: I I forgot to close the back of my van, and your package fell out somewhere on the road, <laughs> and I don't know where exactly. Like I, I I I tried to trace my steps and everything, but I didn't see it. I don't know if somebody got it or what, but maybe the ghost got it. I don't know. There's no ghost here. Oh, there's. There's definitely a ghost hanging around. No, no. Now, I'm more tuned into these things than, you know, the, the well, average. that's your problem. Okay. Well, at any rate, the real issue here is, yeah, your, your package is gone. Uh, there was one supposed to be delivered tomorrow. Yeah, no, it was coming early. I had it today, but yeah, it's, it's a goner now. Whoops. Well, I mean, somebody's got to make up for what's been lost. Yeah, you could, I don't know, contact customer service, see what they're going to do about it. But basically, it's out of my hands. I don't want to go anywhere near your house. If it, oh, come on. If it ends up on my route again, I'm just going to, I don't know, I'll put it on eBay or toss it in the trash or something. <laughs> you got you got a problem you need to take care of. Uh, what would that be? I've lived here 10 years and haven't had anything near, anything close to anything like that. Well, if if I've got a problem, then I guess uh, I guess I know who I'm going to call. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Anyways, um, you know, that's all besides the point. I'm sorry. What's your name again? Winston. Yeah, but Amazon doesn't have delivery vans. It comes through other means. No. The, yeah, we, Postal Service, UPS. Or, yeah, no, we, we expanded into that area. So, yep. It's a new thing we're doing. We're just delivering direct, but not when there's ghosts hanging around. <laughs> Yeah, you you tell you tell Amazon that you saw a ghost and let them let them deal with it. Oh no, I left that out of the report. I put delivery attempted. So well, so basically, that's, that's the problem. That's what caused your problem. Nothing else here caused a problem. No, the, I've been outside all uh, half of the day out there, and there wasn't anything. Uh, I expect to have something delivered here real quick. Yeah, well, it's not coming. Uh, maybe you can like hold a séance or something and see if the ghost took it. I'm not doing anything like that. You're crazy. Or just like get a get a Ouija. You know, come on, get off get off of that. Get get like a Ouija board and and just, you know just There's do like a home. There's like that. Uh, well, it according exist. Uh, well, you, you know, prove me wrong. You have no evidence. You don't either. Uh, I have my own two eyes. Yeah, that's yeah. You you take you take care of it and you make it right and you get us the products that we. You were supposed to be delivering then, okay? Oh, I, I ain't do I ain't doing shit. Well, you better. Well, you know, I'm just curious. Like, who? What's the identity of that ghost? It doesn't exist. Well, uh, see, like the way you're trying to deny it makes me think that. Look, I don't want to nope. accuse you of murder. Yeah. That would be crazy. But what's your last name, Winston? Beauregard. Oligard. Yeah, Oligard. Spell it. I T. Not sure what that has anything to do with this. Well. 
you know, where's I don't understand. Where's Where's Carol? Under, where's Carol at? Where's your wife? She's in the house. Uh, how come I don't hear? Her? How come you don't hear her? Yeah, this is this is getting really weird. Like I see a ghost, and now I'm I'm thinking, you know, like Carol's not making any noise, and I'm, I'm putting two and two together here. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know what you're well, up to over there. It's none of my business, but I'm not delivering any package to your house. Well, you better get somebody to do it and have Amazon make it correct, okay? Well, that's, that's not, all I expect. Well, you can just, you know, if call. You, if you work for them, okay? That's enough. Hello. Hello, Norm. Yeah, who's this? It's Carl with the HOA. Yeah. Hey, I just needed to get in contact with you because it looks like we haven't received the copy of your car key yet. Are you always looking for us? My who? The, the copy of your car key, you know, the, the new rideshare program that's going into effect on Wednesday. <clears throat> copy of my car keys? Yeah, you know. For the, it's somebody from the HOA. Yeah, who are you talking to? Again, um, <laughs> what did you need again? Uh, w I was just going through the file cabinet, and it looks like we haven't received you and Carol's, you know, copy of your car keys yet. Why do you want my car keys? It's from my HOA. Yes, can I help you, please? Uh, who's this? Nobody needs your car keys. This is his brother-in-law. Okay. Son-in-law, can I help you? Oh, well, I mean, I was talking to Norman. I'm not sure why you just grabbed the phone from him, but this is Carl with well, you. Well, it's my prerogative. Excuse me. What do you need a copy of his car keys for? We're starting the new rideshare program. The deadline is on Wednesday. Rideshare for what? For the neighborhood rideshare program that we're implementing in the HOA. He's not on any rideshare program. Well, I was talking to Norman. I don't know who the hell you are, but... You don't know who I am? You don't use that tone of voice with me, sir. Well, you just grab and the if phone. if you do, this conversation is over. Well, okay, but you just grab you the You want to take that tone of voice with me one more time, sir? I will come over to your place and talk to you the way you're talking to me. Okay, well, you can talk to me like that over the phone. Goodbye, sir. Sir. Hello? Hey, what do you say? Yeah, there's some type of ride share he's starting up with you. You're not even doing Dad, a ride share. You're a scam. No, there's somebody from my DeWalt. How do you know that? I know that. Oh, he could say for anybody. They could get the name for anybody. They need a copy of your car keys. Did he know your name? Yeah. That's what did he say? Some ride share, but I'm not doing any ride share. What's the thing? I'm not going to end the call that way. I'm not doing a ride share. What do you think? And then he starts in with me. <laughs> he says, who the hell are you? Mm -hmm. Hello. Who the hell are you? you said, I forgot to hang up. I was trying to figure out. They wanted a copy of his car keys for some March here thing. No, I heard somebody from the HOA. Yes, this is Stephen. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Stephen. It's Carl with the HOA again. Yeah. Hey, I think there was a bit of a misunderstanding here. Um, I, I guess you're not in the loop because, you know, you're not Norman. You know? It doesn't matter if I'm nor not my Norman at all. I represent his estate. So how can I help you? Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't know. It's just the way you grab the phone away. It just... It just. It doesn't matter how I t grab the phone away. Well, it just rubbed... I asked you a specific... Um, let me talk. I asked you a specific question. And where do you live in the community? Uh, well, I'm over here on the road, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. I just, well, you shouldn't even be, no, you should, first off, your call's coming up unknown. Unless I see a what? registered number on this call, I am done with this conversation. Sir, I'm with Do the, we understand each other? Yeah, I understand you, but I don't understand why it's coming up unknown. I'm with the HOA. I could care less if you were HOA. You didn't even identify who you are to me. I told you my name is Carl like three times. Carl right? who? Carl Marx. I don't understand why you're Carl just, Mars. Correct. Okay, he's not interested in any rides here. Okay, so thank listen. Thank you very much for the phone call. You're not letting me please... explain. Listen, you're not letting me Go explain. Goodbye, sir. You're you just... don't talk to me like that. Well, you're picking a fight right, with next me. Next phone call. Next phone call. You and I will have the authority one on one. Thank why are you, you, sir? Why are you picking a fight with me? Hello. Hi, Connie. Yes. Hey, Connie. It's Sleeve with Amazon. Hey, I was supposed to deliver a package to your house earlier this morning, but there was kind of a, a little bit of an issue. What kind of a package? I 
don't have anything ordered. Um, I don't know what was in it. It was just a, you know, an Amazon box. Just had your name and address. Who are you, who are you with? I'm with Amazon. I'm the delivery driver. Well, I didn't order anything, so... Oh, well, I don't I don't know who ordered it. I just... I was supposed to deliver it to your house and, and your name, but there was there was kind of a problem, and that's why I was calling. What was the problem? Well, here's the thing. I am currently protesting the burning of fossil fuels, so I just didn't want to deliver it. So I actually, I actually, I actually have it sitting, like it's still in the van, just in my garage. So you didn't deliver it because of the, uh, the van burned gasoline? Yeah, you know, it's just bad for the earth and, and, and animals and all that stuff. And humans. Well, you don't have any business living in Oklahoma. Uh, well, what, what's that supposed to mean? That's kind of racist of you to say. No, it isn't at all. It's just that everybody in Oklahoma... Uh, most of the people in Oklahoma work in uh, oil business. Yeah, well, most, but not all. And you know, I'm I'm a trailblazer, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be changing things around here. You know, more and more people are gonna come over to my side. You'll see. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! What? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I didn't order anything. Well, I didn't say you did, stupid. I just, you know, your name is on the package. Hello. Hi, Marianne. Yes. Hey, it's Carl with the HOA. Oh, okay. Hey, I just needed... I'm in the car. I'm sorry. Oh, it, it's okay. Um, sorry to bother you so late. I just needed to get in contact with you because, you know, the deadline's coming up this Wednesday and we haven't received a copy of your car key yet. I, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to make that get that back to you? Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's just for the new rideshare program that's going into effect on Wednesday. And I was going through the filing cabinet here, and yeah, I didn't see yours in there. I don't understand the whole program. I'm sorry, I didn't know anything about it. Oh, shoot, you didn't get the emails that we sent out? Um, no, I didn't get it. Basically, we're just trying to kind of help out with the whole climate change thing, so we're, we're implementing a rideshare program. And, you know, half the residents here are just going to get rid of their cars. And then the other half, they just got to open up their cars to share with the neighborhood. No, I didn't hear anything about it. Nothing. Basically, we're just getting rid of private ownership of cars in the neighborhood. It's kind of like vehicle communism in a way. I don't understand. Get rid of my car? Well, I mean, it's not technically yours anymore, but, you know, it just belongs to the HOA. I have to let someone use my car? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, not just someone, or, you know, it's it's just anyone in the neighborhood, you know, just any of the residents here. You have to do this. Yeah, and then, of course, you know, you'll need to remember to park it on the street, or just, you know, leave your garage up. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, well, yeah, you can just park it on the street then if you don't want to leave your garage door open. No, I'm not doing any of this. You know, there's no choice. It's it's a mandatory thing now. But you know, it's just it's for it's for the good of the neighborhood and the climate. You know, because there'll be there'll be fewer cars. So really, it's a win-win. There's there's not a whole lot to object to here. I don't want to share my car. Oh well, that's kind of that's kind of selfish of you. Why don't you want to share? Yeah, I guess it is. It's like when you're not using it, why not just let somebody else use it? And then all the I am not doing that. Well, you, you have to. You don't have a choice. You're you're a resident here, so you know you got to comply with all the laws and everything. That wasn't one of the ones when I moved in. Well, yeah, but it's you know times are changing, and there there are new bylaws. It's not, what is your last name? Marks. This is so strange to me. I haven't heard this from anyone. Well, I, I don't see what's so strange about it. You know, it's just it's good for the environment, and basically you're just being kind of greedy and selfish. Just, no, I'm not being greedy and selfish. I do a lot for the community well, and yeah. church, but I'm not letting somebody use my car. Well, why not? I mean, it's, you know, it's good for the environment. What if I'm using it at the same time, or, and you tell me that I can, I should have somebody come in my garage at a time like this? I don't care if they're my neighbor or not. Well, well, wow, that's that's kind of hateful. What do you have against your neighbors? Yeah, I guess I guess it is. I guess it is. Well, what do you have against the neighbors? They're they're good people. I have nothing against my neighbors. 
this is a is a way to kind of uh, to form a better community. I'm not doing it. Well, I, I guess you're just gonna have to move out then, because I mean, there's there's really. I no... guess I will. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I will. I'm not doing this. I, I just don't understand why you're being so selfish. I am not being selfish. Well, you're you're kind of being selfish, not wanting to share. And then like the the HOA dues, like that'll take care of all the maintenance, you know. So like you won't have to. You won't have to worry about it anymore. It's all to the HOA. You know, oil changes and tire rotations and stuff like that. When did this all happen? Uh, well, it's going into effect on Wednesday. When did all this start? They talk about it. I didn't even hear anything about what was going on. Oh, it was about a, about a month ago now. Yeah. Oh, and nobody was told about this? Uh, well, you know, just the, just the senior officials. We don't. Oh, we, really? We didn't really let the residents in on the whole planning phase of it because you know it is. It's like, ugh, you people and your, and your complaints and, you know, thinking that you know you run things around here. Oh, you are gotta be kidding me. Hello. Hi, Eric. Yes. Hey, oh man, what's all that noise? I can barely hear you. I'm driving in my car. Oh, okay. Oh, drive, drive safely. Hey, this is Winston with Amazon. Winston with Amazon. Yeah, okay. I, I was supposed to deliver a package to your house um, just okay. you know, a little earlier this morning, but, All right. but there was kind of an issue that I just wanted to kind of apologize for. Okay. I, I ended up just selling it on eBay instead. Okay. And, um, yeah, I just, I just basically just wanted to say I'm sorry. You know, I, wait, I, I got it. You know, I'm kind of confused here. So you, you, you were supposed to deliver a package to me. Yeah. Yeah. I had your name and address and all that. Just, you know, Amazon box. It was, um, I don't know, probably a little bit bigger than a shoe box. Okay. And whatever was in it, I don't know. I just listed it on eBay and somebody bought it. You know, they, it, it went up to 75 bucks, the bid. So hopefully they get their money's worth. Uh-huh. Yep. So it sounds like, am I understanding right, you just took something of mine and sold it? Well, I mean, that's one way to look at it. You know, it's like you're not even sure what it is. So basically, it's not really a loss. It's more of like a wash. Mm, not if I bought it. Well, yeah, but it wasn't in your possession yet. So, I mean, you could probably just contact customer service and, you know, just tell them you didn't get it and they'll send you another one. So, you know, it, it really, it's a win-win. Uh, I disagree. <laughs> oh. I thank you for the call. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, but, you're welcome. Uh, that just sounds like, I don't know, what, what, what would you call that? Uh, just uh, sharing the wealth, I guess. That's what I would call it. <laughs> you're cracking me up, Winston. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's good. I'm glad I could put a smile on your face. All right. All right. Well, I still, if you ever want to have coffee. Okay. Yeah. You got my number, obviously. I would enjoy a conversation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Does your wife know about this? Uh. I mean, is she cool? If I tell her, she would. That'd oh, be perfectly she, fine. Is she cool with the whole? You know, the whole. Um. I mean, does she want to join or? Maybe. Oh, all right. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> How? It sounds to me like you're just out to have a little fun and see what happens. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's what life. I don't know. You're that, kind of bizarre. That's what life's all about. How big a boy are you? Yeah. Enough. Enough. What do you got, girth or length? Right. Y'all have a good day. Do you have? Do you have, um, do you have one of those? I wish you find something better in life to do. You have one of those big, thick beer can cocks? Hello. Hi, Colin? Yes. Hey, Colin. It's Winston with the Department of Spectral Health. Yes, sir. I'm just getting in contact with you because we've had some reports that you haven't been practicing proper social distancing with your business and everything. Um, what do you mean? I'm on all online business. Uh, well, yeah, but, we, you know, we've just had some, some people call into our tip line, you know, just saying that you've been coming in close contact or close proximity with, you know, the afterlife and, and just spectral entities and just 
that sort of thing. And, you know, just because just they're not on this plane of existence doesn't mean that, you know, you still don't need to, you know, just wear a mask when you're around them and things like that. Okay. Uh, what business are you calling about? I own a public safety business. Um, well, yeah, but you do like paranormal investigation, right? No, not anymore. I haven't done that in years. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, but we have some anonymous tips saying that you've been coming into close contact with ghosts and, you know, holding seances and, you know, large I gatherings. I haven't been holding any. I haven't been doing that, but okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, that's, that's strange because, you know, we have... I mean, is, is there any way you can email, like, is there any way you can prove to me you have evidence and stuff? Because, I mean, I'm kind of skeptical, you know, you get a call and then, like, you don't know if it's real or not. You're skeptical of the call, but not of ghosts? No, I mean, I don't. I'm skeptical, like, of the evidence because I haven't been mm. ghost hunting or nothing in years. Hmm. Oh, how come you haven't done it in years? I've just been busy. I opened a new business, and my photography business is going good, so I just haven't had time. Ah, ah so the snake oil business kind of dried up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, I mean, is there any way you can show me the evidence or anything? Because I don't, uh, I mean, I'm not saying you're lying or nothing. I mean, I just, I, I know I haven't been doing that stuff. Well, we've got, we've got some security cam footage of you just like around town and everything. And I haven't been ghost hunting. Uh, yeah, but I've the, been hiking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, um, that's one of the videos, you know, we had someone trailing you and, and it shows that when you were hiking, you know, you, you had like some wraiths and, and other things like that, just kind of in your the aura. What? Some wraiths, you know. Oh, wraith? Right? Yeah, huh. yeah, just ghosts, wraith, uh, shades. Okay, and your, what's your name? Winston. Winston? What's your last name? Beauregard. And yeah, just, oh, okay. it just on, on the special camera that our investigator was holding, it, it showed that, you know, you were hiking with several ghosts. And, you know, just, um, oh, okay. even though they're dead, you know, they can still, you know, pass COVID around back and forth, so. No. I don't, I don't believe that, but uh, I'll definitely be calling the health department and my local police department to report you. Uh, why would you do that? This stuff ain't stuff to kid about, man. I mean, I take it seriously. I work in the health field, and I don't appreciate getting a call like that, especially when somebody's kidding like that. And uh, I'll definitely be reporting you. I have your number on here, and uh, okay, we'll just go from there. So you'll probably be hearing from the police, but that's your own problem. Well, it's just a prank call, silly, so just calm down, okay? It's nothing to get all worked up about. Yeah. I take this stuff seriously. Oh, okay. So, wow. I mean, you can tell me who you are and come clean, and I'll just let it go, or I'll report you to the police, and it'll be investigated. I told you, I'm Winston Beauregard, and I'm calling you from beyond the grave. Well, I know you're not Winston Beauregard, and I have a kind of an idea of who this is. Oh, but... <laughs> really? Well, tell me who you think it is, then. Yep. Oh, um, does your name start with a J? <laughs> All right, you got me. Damn, how do you know? Is your name Jeremy? Yeah. Is it Jeremy? Yeah, yeah, it's Jeremy. How do you know? No, it's not. It's not Jeremy. Yeah, I know, but Jeremy put me up to this. Um, okay, well then who are you? I'm, I'm just a friend of Jeremy's. He, he told me to call you and just, just mess with you. Well, I'll be calling him. I mean, I get the humor out of it, but I'm going to be calling him. And if he tells me he didn't do it, I'll believe him because we've been friends for a long time, so... Yeah. Okay, well, you know, there's there's another side to Jeremy that you don't know about. Well, I mean, I believe that. Me, me and Jeremy but, uh, have kind of a kind of a special relationship, if you know what I mean. Hmm. That's interesting. Yep. All right. Well, anyways, just call. So why go, can't you tell me your real name then? My name is Ted. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I know that's not true. I mean. How do you know that's I not just, true? Because I'm not stupid. Okay, well, what's wrong? I'm getting entertainment out of this. What's wrong with the name Ted? Is it another I fake name according to you? Oh, yeah. My name is Ted Turner. Yeah. Okay, yeah, off TV show. <laughs> what TV show? I, I think it might be the Fairly Odd Parents, but I might be wrong. Okay. But it's one of those, something like that. Okay. Okay, Colin. Well, I mean, like I said, you don't want to come clean with me who you are, so I'll be calling the okay. police department, and we'll go from there. Okay, please don't waste the police's time. You know, they got shit to do. They can't be... Oh, I have friends in the police department. I don't really got to call them. I'll just call my friend. He'll look into it, and okay. if it's something, it's something. If it's not, it's not. Well, your friends are going to be really annoyed with you for bothering them. No, not really. Over a prank call. 
No, not seems, really. Seems kind of silly. My friend is different than your friend, so I mean... <laughs> oh, okay, well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, my friends are real friends, and we talk about stuff all the time. I'm really close with a lot of them, so I can just talk about it in passing, and if they want to look into it, they can. It's not like I'm going to oh, like so, force them to look so at I it. I mean, so I don't have real friends is what you're saying? I didn't say that. Well, you implied it. I said my friends are different. Well, yeah, I might have implied, but I didn't mean it that way. But Okay, well, you're a big jerk. Oh, well, so are you. Okay, you're right. Sorry to waste your time, yeah, Colin. Yeah. Oh, you're good. All right, hang, all day, man. All right, hang up the phone. I'll let you hang up. No, you hang up first. Nope. I'm not hanging up shit. No, me neither. Well, then we're just going to sit here all day, then. Well, that's fine. Yeah, good, good. I got nothing to do. I'm actually talking to Jeremy right now. Oh, what what's Jeremy have to say? I tell him, I want to know who it is right now because this is dad. And you're going to tell me who you are. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to get I'm gonna get with my chief, which I'm an assistant chief. And I will get with somebody with your number, buddy. So you better tell me who you are. Oh, there calm, you go. Calm, can, can he hear me? Yeah, I'm sure he can hear you. Calm down, Jeremy. <laughs> it's number, it's, uh, Jer it's calm. I, Here, listen. All right, all right. This is, shut up. This is Kevin. This is his dad. And you're going to tell me who it is. Oh, well, Jeremy yeah. told, told me to call Colin and just, you know, just play around. That's all. Me and Jeremy's been friends for a long time, and I highly doubt Jeremy told you to do any of that, and he's on the other phone right now. Okay, well, Jeremy, just come clean. Hey, hi, then. Jeremy. Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. Hello? There he is. You hear him? Yeah, can he hear me? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a real guy. Like, he's he's been cussing at me and everything, dude. What? I never cussed at you. Yeah, you did. You just said you weren't hanging up shit. Jeremy, just come clean. Just tell him who I am, and, you know, we can all just, just have a good laugh. No, no, I know. I believe you, Jeremy. We believe you. I was just, I was just letting you know because somebody was putting your name out yeah, there. Oh, this is a bunch of bull corn. Jeremy is the, is the mastermind behind this whole thing. Okay, what's Jeremy's last name? Don't worry about it. What are you? I, I, I do worry about it because I am a chief and I can have you in trouble. <laughs> You're a chief of what? That's not. That's my business, not yours. Chief engineer of the Starship Enterprise. Just let Jeremy. I'll go. I'll go ahead and uh, talk to you back in just a little bit. Okay. No, I mean, you can listen. You can listen. Then. Anyway, like I said, if you don't, I mean, you don't want to come clean with me who you are, I'll report you to the police department and definitely with the health department since you're staying oh, here thought, with them. I and thought you not. already reported me to the chief. No, I haven't reported you to the chief. Oh, well, who's that other guy that said he was the chief? He's not a cop? No. Sounds like you're, it sounds like. Fire chief. Oh, okay. Well, go ahead and report me to the fire department. See what they can do about it. No, I'm going to report you to the sheriff's department and to the health department since you're saying you're with the health department. Okay, well, I'm not. I so told you. you. play that game? I can play it, too. I told you. It's just a prank call, stupid. Ah, uh, well, you can call me whatever you want. You're not hurting mine. Okay. Jenny. Okay. Well, it sounds like you're getting all, right. all worked up about it. Well, I'm not worked up. I think it's entertaining. Okay, good. I'm glad you're entertained. Yep. He, he says I've been in contact. Well, he said you hadn't him call me he says he's with the health department of spectral something and i've been in contact with these ghosts that have covid and that i need to self-quarantine and that i haven't been practicing proper social distancing I and never their investigators said, have been following me Colin, and all this stuff i never said that you need to self-quarantine oh yeah well he didn't say i need to self-quarantine but he said they've been he's been following me and investigating me and all this and i, I know never said i, I was following you i never well, said he's I got his investigator whatever yeah yeah get get your facts straight well i mean why are you worried about me getting my facts straight when you're the one that's saying you're with the health department well i'm not with the health department we've already established that this is a prank call well, I know it's a prank call, but you don't just call somebody saying you're with an official department when you're not. The Department of Spectral Health isn't real. Oh, uh, well, you know. You're just, you're just being a big you stupid. You said you were the you're Department a, of Health. You're being a big stupid head. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I'm stupid, I guess. But, I mean, I'm stupid, but you're still the one that's going to be reported to the cops, man. Oh, well, that's just a waste of their time. Oh, well, no, not really. you know. Who's that other guy in the background? Is he, is he still running his mouth? I can run my mouth all out. Huh. Okay, well, you need to, you need to just man. shut up. Tell, tell him to shut the fuck up. 
Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, let me tell you something. Get on the phone. I can't even hear you. I'm going to take five seconds to find you, buddy. Okay, come find me, motherfucker. Anyway, I'm going to hang up now. Hang up. Wow, good shit. But, uh, yeah. All right. You have a good day. All right, hang up the phone. Hello. Hi, Avenal. Uh, this is her daughter, Kathy. What can I do for you? Oh, hello, Kathy. This is Hi. Sleeve with Amazon. I was supposed to deliver a package to the house there this morning. Uh-huh. And there was just kind of an issue um, I needed to let you know about. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I got to your house. Do you live with her? Or? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I got to your house, and, you know, I was getting out of my van. I was going to deliver it. But I... Okay. I saw something, uh, and it it just it really scared me, and I just you know just scared okay. the living daylights out of me, and I I hopped in my van and I just I just punched it, you know. What did you see? I I saw a ghost. Okay. Yeah. Um. um huh. Okay. And, uh, and it was it was the weirdest thing. Like the it was just it was like walking up to your door, and it it set something down. Uh, I'm not sure what it was. Like a like a kind of a squarish rectangular object. Hmm. And um. And it was it was wearing brown clothes. I remember that much. It was wearing like brown shorts and a brown shirt. Hmm. And it just scared the living daylights out of me. Like, I could not get out of there fast enough. Okay. We had a brown hat on, too. Like, black shoes. I don't remember seeing anything like that. And I noticed, like, in my rear view as I was speeding away, that the ghost walked back down, you know, just, like, back down to the curb. And mm-hmm. it got into, um, like a like, a large brown van. It had like yellow okay. had le- yellow lettering on the side. I think it. I don't. I don't know what it said. It, it ended in PS. It was a UPS fan. No, it was a ghost. It, it couldn't have been. It couldn't have been. How could it? How how can you determine it was a ghost when it sounds just like a UPS man? What, so what are you saying that I'm just like seeing things that like my imagination? Well, no, is, I'm, my imagination not, is just running necess- wild. I mean, Kathy, come no, on. I'm not necess- just just let's just I don't, I, let's just use I don't logic know. here. I am using logic. I didn't get anything. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, and I never saw anything like that. Yeah, see? See? You didn't see it. Like, I'm more tuned into these things than than you are, obviously. And if you didn't get anything, then that pretty much confirms it was a ghost. What are you wanting me to do here? Well, look, you're just going to have to figure out who you're going to call about this, but I'm not delivering a package to your house until that's cleared up. Has, well, um, if it's an Amazon package, then I'll tell you what you do. Oh, well, you don't um, tell me what to do. I don't. I don't take orders from women. That's for sure. Excuse me. But yeah, just, it's a package that I paid for, and if you're delivering an Amazon package, uh, I can call Amazon and see what you're supposed to be doing with it. Oh, and it's my package, and well, I for, paid for it. Well, first of all, it had Avanel's name on it. Okay, it didn't have Kathy or Catherine, whatever your dumb name was. Excuse me. Well, I'm just saying it's not your package; it's your mom's. So, okay, I take care of all of her stuff. Yeah, but it basically, I live with her, basically and I'm her just, caregiver. And I want to tell you. Well, that's very nice. That's uh, very nice, honey. I don't appreciate nice, your attitude, and I don't appreciate. Uh, I don't you. know who you deliver from. Amazon. But UPS delivers my Amazon package, or the mail does. Mm. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you deliver from. Amazon. I already told you that at the beginning of the call. Okay, right. if you deliver from Amazon. Amazon doesn't deliver like my mail is either delivers well, Amazon. Yeah, the, the post office delivers your mail, dummy. We deliver packages. But I'll tell you what I don't appreciate is you trying to just steal your mom's orders. I don't steal my mom's orders. I live with my mother and I'm her caregiver. Well, that's very so, nice. That's very nice, honey. You know, doing women's work and everything. That's that's all well and good. Okay. I need your name, please. My name is Cody. Cody what? 
Um, no. You don't know. No, I'm. I'm not a. I'm not a thing. It's Cody. Who? Not what? That's what. That's what Brad always says. That grammar Nazi. <sighs> okay. Anyways, the Amazon look, package belongs here at yeah. 109. Uh, it belongs. It, it does not belong to you. I didn't say it belonged to me. In fact, it belongs to the house. You are paid to deliver it. Yeah, but I'm not paid you to. You need to deliver it. I'm not paid to, you know, deal with sassy women and, and fight off ghosts and brown uniforms. And can you turn that TV down? It's really annoying. No, I'm not turning the TV down. I'm telling you, you need to get the package here. Well, you don't tell me what to do. Otherwise, I will call Amazon and I will tell them that you are very rude. Well, they're not going to believe you. Are you are incapable of delivering they're not their packages. Am I don't care. I will complain and I will tell them that whoever's delivering this package needs to have his uh, whatever he's supposed to be doing. He needs to not do it anymore because he's rude. He is incapable of it and he can, should not be a, allowed to do it anymore. He needs to be fired. Well, you're being racist. No, I'm not being racist. Yeah, you're saying I'm... I, you have been rude to me. You're saying I'm lazy because I have brown skin, so I can't deliver packages. I get it. You're just one of these... these no, I, I don't even know who you are. I've never seen you. I don't know what color skin you have. I just yeah, see, know you're, you're being, that you're being, you have been rude, rude to me. You're being prejudiced. You, you're being prejudiced. You don't even know me as a person, and you're saying I'm lazy, and I can't do my job, and I'm stupid. I didn't say you're lazy. I said you're being rude to me. And that you have not delivered the package that you are hired to deliver. Okay. And that I that you have been rude to me and you have not tried to deliver the package. Okay. I have I'll... not seen you or anything. Okay. 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 Here's then, the, here. Let's let's just work out a deal. I'm not going to come to your house because it's haunted, but I'll meet you at the Walmart's down the street. I can. I can't drive. Well, you can okay, walk. Okay, I don't drive. Well, you can walk. I'm disabled. Well, then you, I do not drive. Then hop on your scooter and get down to Walmart, and I'll, I'll meet you there. I'll hand deliver it in the parking lot. I'm not going to come down there. Why not? See, now, okay, you, now, you're, can't. now you're being lazy. I cannot get there. You not, don't seem to understand. I cannot get there. Why not? I don't have a way to get there. You're being lazy. You're being lazy. This is a, this is a lazy I white woman. I cannot get there. How do you know I'm white? Because you sound like it. Are you sure your name's not Karen? Okay. Okay, look, Kathy, I'm going to come clean with you. I'm not really with Amazon. I'm the UPS delivery guy. And I just, I, I didn't want to deliver packages today. I'm just, just kind of burnt out, you know? Here's the thing. I, I put your, whatever it was, or your, whatever your mom ordered... I put the I put a listing up on eBay and I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it on eBay. Okay, you do whatever you want to do, okay? And I'll just call Amazon, tell them I need my package. Okay. You do what you want. Okay. I don't care. Okay. Well, your mom has to call because you can't access her account. <laughs> I can too. No, you need to you need to stop trying to steal your mom's identity. All right. Goodbye. I don't have to talk to you anymore. Have right. a good day. All right, Kathy. I love you. That's enough nonsense for now. Let's get down to serious business here with the voicemails. King Richard, it's Teresa from Buffalo, Hi, New York. Hi, Teresa. I did not know that Olga was your real life girlfriend. What, what? <gasps> Guess I'm going to have to hook up with Brad Carter now. Mm -mm. Dang, you were my first choice. No. Anyway, keep those pranks coming. Love you anyway. Okay, love you too. Yeah, Olga's my real life girlfriend. And I bet you also didn't know that she's my real life personal chef, real life secretary, and real life housemaid. It's it's a pretty nice arrangement. But yeah, go after Brad. He's he's way cuter than I am. Hey, King Richard. It's uh, Cody Coleman. <laughs> you, uh, you forget your name there? Fucking fuck that one up. <laughs> so, call you back in a second. Oh, look, he left another voicemail. Let's see if he remembered his name this time. All right, King Richard, sorry. This is the second voicemail I sent you, and I know that it's okay. it is pretty retarded. Anyways, anyway. Yeah, it's pretty retarded. Uh, I just want to say thank you 
so much for providing us with entertainment through this whole COVID bullshit. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate you very much. And man, you make days at work go by a lot quicker just listening to your to my what? To my what? Just say it. Uh, the stupid shit you say. Oh. No offense. Okay. Uh, Deeply offended. Pretty funny how many people buy into it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, keep doing what you're doing. You're bringing joy to everybody around and other than that, definitely want to... All right, it's getting awkward now. Actually talk sometimes. Oh, so, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, what's the Discord? Hate again? talking to people. Sorry. Yeah, join the Discord. tonight, but I don't think anyone shows around. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, you take care, man, and thank you so much. Love you. Snooky snookies. <laughs> all right, toodles. Toodles, love you too. Thanks for all the kind words. That's the only reason I let your voicemail play for the full minute and 16 seconds. But yes, join the Discord, World of Prank Calls. It's a great place to be. It's nothing but love and happiness. And actually, we do have movie nights. You should, uh, you should join one of the movie nights there. But yeah, the link is always in the show notes. If the links don't work in whatever app you're using to listen to the show, just go to the website, anotherprankcallshow.com. Click on the first episode you see and scroll down to where it says, Join the World of Prank Calls Discord. What the heck? We're keeping on. We're going to have 30 seconds so I get put on the game show. Oh, no. What the? Not you again. Okay, listen to me, you, you young whippersnappers. You need to quit listening to prank calls. Go do your homework and eat your vegetables. Very uncomfortable with minors calling in. Let's move on. Hi, King Richard. This is Mike calling from Belize. Hey, Mike. You know, you just crossed my mind just now. And I was on, just thinking about you, on too. On last episode, I, you said that you were moving, so I hope... Sure did. Everything work out on your new 1020. 1020? Or your QTH, or whatever you want to call it. What? And I wish you the best of luck. And by the way, Why, thank you. The month of, uh, we are in the month of October, and I think on October the 27th is Stephen Aspinwall's Who? birthday. So if he's listening, or anybody listening, please tell Stephen Aspinwall that he gets a birthday greeting from Mike in Belize and lunch lady. I love you, lunch lady. All right. Somebody go tell Stephen, lunch lady, happy birthday. Go find him immediately. Thank you, Mike, for calling in. Thanks again, Arbitrary Alex, Ryan Jardina, People's Karma Squad, Wasted Memory, and Rince Prius for surrendering your cars like a bunch of card-carrying commies. Thanks to everyone for listening and sticking with the show despite my agonizing one full show a month schedule. It's completely ridiculous. There are a million other great prank shows to pass the time with, though. I try to listen to them all, and you should too. Dr. Tom Servo just launched a show about a month ago called Robo Calls, and it's really funny. You can find a link to his show and all the others, like Travels with Miriam and Dragonmere and Horta Calls, whatever the hell that is, in the show notes at anotherprankcallshow.com. Go check them out. And that reminds me, I get people apologizing for not signing up on the Patreon for the extra shows, and that's completely unnecessary. I just appreciate that you listen to the regular shows. I really wish I could do more free ones. Uh, every 10th bone or so it is free, and I'm approaching number 70. But first, I've got to do 69. Mm, mm, mm. Bye, everyone. Everything is crashing down into the night, but it's all right. Because we're all just going to die anyway. It's okay. Yeah, everything will be fine when we die. Nothing is the way it should be Everything is all fucked up But we're all just gonna die anyway It's okay, yeah, everything will be fine When we die Oh, I I think sometimes That I can't go
can finally leave behind this mess that everybody's made We're all just gonna die anyway It's okay, yeah, everything will be fine when we die So if you're ever feeling down or blue, well, I've got news for you We're all just gonna die anyway It's okay Hello? Hey, Olga. Yes? Hey, Olga. It's Winston with the HOA. Oh, hi, Winston. How are you doing? Oh, who cares? Anyways, I was just calling you to say you need to stop flashing your boobs to the neighbors. What? I'm not flashing my boobs to the neighbors? We know, you know, like you don't have shades or curtains or whatever, you know, hung on your windows yet, but... You know, it's just kind of indecent for you to be just walking around and, you know, pushing your butt up against the window. I don't do that. Well, we, you're out of your mind. Well, Cody, what are you some kind of scammer. How would this be a scam? Stupid. Cody next door. He, um, you know, he, he said that like he saw you do like a pressed ham kind of thing against the against the window. Well, Cody, I don't, I don't know any Cody. Co I don't know you either, Winston. I'm with the HOA. What HOA? The, you know, the, the, the Seattle HOA machine. That's no such, there's no such thing. Well, you know what? Just quit. What's wrong with your phone? It sounds like crap. Well, I'm, I'm outside right now and it's a little windy. Okay. Well, Why are you calling me? Well, hopefully you know, you're not, you know, just flapping your boobs in the wind. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Good comeback. Hang up the phone. <laughs> Okay, oh, no, you hang up the phone. Oh, not, not until you hang it up. So you hang it up. <laughs> you, you hang it up first. So you hang it up. You called me, asshole. Okay, bye. <laughs>